on me. Lead. Lead. Because this mohawk ain't working out on TV. Good morning. It is August 5th, Monday morning. Right uh, after your birthday. Yesterday was my birthday. What can I say? I had a heck of a good time. Thanks for all the great birthday wishes and everything that's come in on Facebook and email and all the good stuff. It was a great day. I'm a little tired. Tired. We'll tired. Put tired. <laughs> that's it. I'm tired. Well, today. And I'm having a bad hair day. So, hey, August 5th. I'm 57 years old now, and I should know a few more things than I did last yeah. year with. Yeah. Age comes wisdom, and this week we're dedicating this whole week and part of next week. Yeah, to a lot of um, hot weather safety tips since it's been getting really hot and everything. Yeah, it's hot out here. It on the is. Set. It's mm -hmm. well, the set's always warm, but yeah. it is. Like, outside is just. It's really humid. And it's and really not spared any part of the country, really. No, it hasn't at, at all. So I had we, a friend move to Chicago a few weeks ago, and honestly, it was the hottest in Chicago hottest. it's ever been. I can't imagine being downtown Chicago at 100 degrees. Isn't they known like as the Windy City? The Windy City, but that was the hot city that day. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, today's on heat stress, isn't it, yes, Corinne? Yes, it is. And um, we're going to talk to you about some of the reasons why um, heat stress could um, happen in older adults age 65 and older. So we're not quite I'm there. I'm not there yet. yet. But, it, but it can happen to us if we don't, you know, take precaution. But one of um, the main reasons is um, elderly um, residents and... Um, patients and clients and stuff that you're going to be working with, they do not adjust well to sudden temperature changes. Um, it no throws, doubt. it throws them, it throws them off. Mm -hmm. um, the second is if they have any chronic medical conditions that change their responses to the temperature as far as like if they can't sweat. If you ever notice some residents and clients and patients, you may go in there and they're just dripping wet. Well, some people cannot do that because of their body temperatures. Hmm. So I you need to keep that. an eye on that. Yeah. I've learned something on the chill mm -hmm. spot today. And then the third is actually certain medications can impair the body's ability uh, to perspire, to, to sweat. Right. So I know some of the medications that I take, I can't have like grape juice, can't have grapefruit because of the acid and everything in there. And I have to stay out of the sun with some of the medications. Is, there's an antibiotic I remember as a kid. If I Is it Keflex? I don't remember, but it's one of them we should know if we're going to talk about it. I shouldn't bring it up <laughs> if I don't know what I'm talking about. But anyway... Mm -hmm. We all need to take precautions right. when we're in the heat. Mm -hmm. I, my father-in-law, he I don't know how he's done it this year. Uh, their house was affected in the May 22nd mm -hmm. tornado, and he's been up there every day for seven, eight hours. I read somewhere recently where a former football Hall of Famer or a former mm -hmm. pro football player died at 36 after being out in the heat yeah. all day. How in the world does that happen? Yeah. Well, they get overheated, and I know um, football season, school's going to be starting back up, so a lot of your um, kiddos are going to be out there, um, you know, practicing and everything, so keep an eye on them as well, because heat stress can affect the younger just as much as the old. That's for so, sure. So, um, if you're going to be taking your residents, um, your clients, or even... Um, and some hospitals, they have a no smoking policy. So, you know, you may be asked to take one of your patients out to smoke across the street now. <laughs> so make sure that they are um, well hydrated. Make sure you keep them in the shade. Um, wear some sunscreen. Um, any type of protection that you can put on top of their, their head. Um, when I was doing some research on this, I came across something so I'm kind of learning something new today on the chill spot that you put a cap on your head in the winter time to keep the heat in right but then you also keep a hat on your head or some kind of protection in the summertime to help the cooling effect hmm well I Which know is... this when I wear a hat in the summertime and I'm mowing my head is so hot my whole <laughs> body as soon as I pull that hat off I start cooling down so Huh. I don't want to contradict the experts, but I know I've heard that before, Corinne, and that yeah. is right. And certainly 
uh, I, I might, somebody can invent this, but I don't know why, you know, when we go by and see uh, the workers, uh, highway workers mm -hmm. and uh, transportation department, somebody needs to invent um, a lightweight clothing that keeps you warm. I think we could put some solar strips or something in something our clothes in to keep them, but yeah. keep those hats on. But mm -hmm. the one thing I have always said is, I, you know, everybody has their favorite seasons. Right. Summer has never been my favorite season because I think I'd rather have winter than summer because mm -hmm. you can get warm. Right. You can't get cold. No. I kind of like that. I can fall. strip completely off, which I did yesterday <laughs> on my birthday, and and I couldn't get a bit cooler outside. I took it all off and took it all the way cooler. off. Yep. So if you're going to be out um, working with some of your residents, clients, or, or your patients, um, send us some pictures. We would love to see some of the summertime activities that you're doing. If you have any comments, please send them. You know, make a little comment on the bottom of your your screen or whatever. I'm off track. I'm trying to think of the word I'm trying to say. When you're watching the chill spot, some, yes, yes, there tag you go. us in there, yes. send some Post pictures. Post up your pictures, whatever yeah. you can do. And um, stay safe. Keep um, those precious residents, clients, and patients safe. Don't mess with our residents or we will knock you out. That's right. So um, come back and uh, join us again and um, we're going to fill you in on some more um, hot weather safety tips. See you on Wednesday, if not before. Yep. Bye. You matter.